Alright guys, welcome back to some more fan episodes of Worms. We're doing zoos, so we're just going to be chucking exploding animals at each other. And then we've got Yo-Yo on fire, Special Pandas, and Duke joining us. And I believe... You know, we can have a day on... day in the city for, I think, the animals. So I don't think we ever played on... Where is it? Come on, all the way down the bottom. In Little Town. Oh, I should have done cat versus dog because it's the animals. Let me do that instead. I think this one has enough. Uh... Yeah, cat versus dog with all animals. There we go. It's an animals match. I love it when things uh, work out thematically. <laughs> Food in the center. I'm glad there's an explanation point for or explanation of that. Looks like a sewing thimble to me. All right, let's see how badly my worms are all positioned. It looks like I'm heavily on the cat side with one on top of the dog. It does look like we have a little bit of downloading of custom items or something. I believe it's the pirate hats and stuff that are non-normal. I don't know. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to get turn to turn to turn. Alright, up, up, up first is Yo-Yo, who is under Banjo-Kazooie's username. Oh, and Jesse and James are on the cat. Huh, Jesse and James and Meowth. He probably named his characters after Banjo-Kazooie characters. Yep, it looks like he has. Oh man. Okay, only Jesse got poisoned. <sighs> Sadness. Okay. Well... Oh, so that sounded like a Woody the Woodpecker laugh. So that actually fits rather well. Uh-oh. Uh ha! Glitched over it. Alright, wind is blowing this way, so let's get some other people uh, poisoned. Oh, and I managed to kill Kazooie! Barely had enough distance there to make that happen. So starting off aggressively, I'm making enemies. Because the skunk doesn't normally send them flying that much. Well, he only had to move like three worm lengths. Well, he nearly survived that too. Mm-hmm. If that corner was square instead of rounded, probably would have. Unfortunately, now I'm going to get a skunk in return. Man, the skunks are really good on this early turn. Yeah, by the time all of the good stuff unlocks, the skunk poison damage will get our worms down to ridiculously low levels. Kinda wish I had the science. See, this is why we went all soldier, because if we had scientists, this would become much less balanced. <laughs> His Mr. Vile worm is right in the center of that cat. <laughs> That's like the... It, it could be a safe place, it could also be a very bad place to get stuck. Oh wow, no. Wow, that guy's sitting right inside of the cat's head, and then Lone Star's sitting in between the legs. Yep. <laughs> well, luckily there's no breeze on this one, so I didn't get poisoned by that. Ooh, possible combo here against other worm. Starting off with the poison, would poison major asshole, and then you could knock other worm onto the mine with the possible explosion. But let's see if he sees it. I think we have just enough stream delight that they can't hear what I'm saying, commentating during a turn of theirs. Hopefully. 
If not, I'll save my commentary to the last half of their turn. <laughs> Well, that's an unfortunate place to have that skunk. Oh, he might get major asshole poison, though. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, he did manage to poison one other worm besides himself and avoid exploding himself, so... Fairly good turn. Also, Nitz, if you could do exclamation point con in the chat, I would appreciate that. All right, who can we damage now? Are we still, we're still a turn away from the sheep. And with this wind, I'm going to end up poisoning my own guys if I try anything that way. Actually, I should be safe to do it this way if I start the poison down inside the cat. Because the water bottle will block it. And I'm poisoned anyway, so it doesn't really hurt me. Yep, 56 damage plus poison. Nice. Spaceballs is such a hilarious movie. Alright. Will the mine save me? No, it won't. I was hoping he would start trying to dig down on the mine, but no such luck there. Oh, why is me all stuck on the dog? This game has a sense of humor on its spawn positions. It looked like he gave the cat intestines. Yeah, I, I was kind of hoping, or I was kind of hoping the dog wouldn't end up having a, a hole drilled out the back end. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has worms, ghosts. <laughs> All of them do. The cat definitely does. <laughs> it has worms in its nose. Uh, I was hoping you'd get the joke. Well, the cat now has a mouth. Hashtag ghost joke. <laughs> okay, the cat now has part of a throat as well. <laughs> okay, well, let's get my one healthy worm a little bit away in case any more poison happens. And, huh, I don't have a good place to sheep. So, let's unleash a mole. Damn, not quite far enough to get the Lone Star. But I did get Lone Star away to get out, so that's hopefully going to win me some favor with Duke so I get hit less. <laughs> you weren't trying to kill him at all. You were trying to set him free. Although he still can't get out. Oh boy. Yep, here comes the sheep. I'm glad I moved my worms a bit away. Oh, there's gonna be some splash. Banjo might actually die from splash damage alone. Nope, still alive. Well, now there's gonna be a lot of sheep being thrown about. Oof, some self damage there, but he did get the kill. So everybody's lost a worm. I kind of want Duke to win. Come on, hole, save me from the sheep. Nope, not gonna happen. I was kind of hoping the sheep would just drop down into that hole. 
go after Lone Star. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh. Uh, I don't think you can get down from the tail. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, don't stand right next to James, you're gonna make me a target. Although, killing me straight off... Yeah, that's a death. Damn it, that was my healthiest worm, too. Well, once again, I'm a little bit behind. Good news is, I can kill Dark Helmet. Sadly, I think that's going to undo anything I got by digging a hole for a Lone Star, but I don't really have an option here. Now, can I jump the worm? Or jump the sheep? Yes, nice. Oh, <laughs> Dark Helmet goes flying. Oh, and the fire exploded the worms down there. Which kills a... the other one. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't think I've ingratiated myself to Duke at all at this point. <laughs> I'll be back. Well, Giovanni's dead by skunk. We're gonna be down to one worm after this turn. Well, what do we got? We got monkey bringing in some water. Explosive. Oh, and the monkey is sealing Lone Star in. Oh, and the mole, getting him not only an exit, but an actual kill. Yep, that was enough damage. And that opened a gigantic hole. <laughs> not sure why that worm over there died. That was kind of random. Alright, so what am I down to? I'm down to a two health worm, which is gonna be one health after this turn, and a hundred. Ooh, bad landing spot there. Oh, and they take stun he takes damage. Okay, so the one HP worm is all I've got left. So how can I do a pretty good kill with this? Hmm. Ideally, I'd like to kill a worm without getting killed myself. And that's a kill. And a suicide on Sir Swaggington. I'll take it. Okay, so I, I think I've thoroughly pissed Duke off because my last three actions have been to kill his worms. Probably not a good thing. Oh, and it's the jumping mole. Will it be able to connect the tunnels? Nope. Put your money where your mouth is. And that dog is burning. <laughs> well, the super sheep unlocks this turn, as does the buffalo of lies. We may be able to get some extra kills with those. See, the Super Sheep will do 65 damage, but with fall damage added in, Sir Swaggington could probably be killed by a Super Sheep. Can kill the current worm, which only has 30-something health. 
I don't think we can kill anyone else with the super sheep. Buffalo is possible running it down that path under the cat. That could kill some people. I don't know, no one's in really a good position for a combo kill. And the food is in the background, it's not actually there. <laughs> Oh, super sheep were apparently out this turn. That's not good. Just you wait. Well, now special can be down to one with a super sheep. And that is special's only worm that can actually revenge attack me, so that's not a bad one to go after. Yep. Why did my super sheep just explode rather than going into the air? I would very much like to know. I picked the super sheep, right? Oh. No, I picked the regular sheep, the one without the cape, which is why it exploded on me. I kind of regret saying what I said about his uh, 75 health worm, because now I'm... 3 HP. Shit. <laughs> well, that was my own fault. Didn't pick the super sheep. That was a fail. That was a fail. on an edge there, so it didn't quite kill Banjo- or Yo-Yo's other worm. Oh, 3 HP. To be really stuck with 3 HP. Gotta be super careful, because splash damage would just finish me off at this point. Okay, point blank sheep. That seems to be an interesting choice here, because it's going to get stuck in the tunnel. <gasps> well, we shall see. <laughs> Well, at least the tunnel can't be used by anyone anymore. Alright, what should we do here? Hmm. No, I'm gonna go with hope I don't get killed. And... Ooh, actually... Oh, four wind. Of course it's four wind when I have a bovine. It's always four wind when I have a bovine. There we go. Now it's actually a super sheep. We'll kill this one. Oh, apparently there is something solid there, because my grave is apparently sitting on that. Alright, so everyone's down to under 100 HP. Or 100 HP or under. And I think I put myself in a spot where I can't be killed via mole. Oh, right. Bovines. Kind of forgot about that. That's three. Come on, don't hit me. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Oh, that one's dead on. That was a 55 hit. And a mine. Well, shit. I never seem to do very well against viewers. <laughs> Now let's see who wins out of the remaining players. Oh, so close to letting special out. So close. And that worm nearly suicided. So that's a turn burnt. <laughs> yes, 
Now, if Specials was actually able to get out, he'd be able to finish the entire game, potentially, with a well-placed Buffalo Lies. Maybe. Depends on how much splash he started off at the 6 and have it run along. Ah, uh, he's gonna explode that mine onto himself. Yep, saw that coming. Ouch. Sixteen. Oh, that is a kill. In a very, very large tunnel. Bye -bye. Everyone's down to one. Now, a Buffalo of Lies here would finish the game if Yo-Yo gets caught in the first blast radius. Better bet would be Super Sheep, but I think everyone has used their Super Sheep. Ooh, just straight up Sheep. Very dangerous, very close range. It's obviously not going the right way. <laughs> well, Special has a... does not have a way out. Otherwise, they'd be able to capitalize. The downside is, any way out for special is a way in for everybody else. <laughs> Still not enough to get through that wall. <laughs> so a mole would probably be the safer kill. Skunk would also work, potentially. Sheep wouldn't even have to be on the side Banjo's on, but could be on the other side of that bottom hole. Looks like he's going with Mole. Can he make it in time? Yep, and that is a kill. Duke versus Special, and they both have pretty much 60 HP. Pretty fair fight for the end. Specials is retreating up into the innards of the dog. Maybe blowtorching their way out? Or just getting some cover for, oh, the donkeys. Yeah, that looks like a finisher. 30, and that is dead. More than dead, holy crap. 313 damage, <laughs> I think that's a dead worm. Alright, well we'll see you guys next time on another episode of Worms.